Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Persona 5 stream. We are live on Twitch right now. And for the YouTube peeps, say hello to the Twitch peeps. Twitch peeps, say hello to the YouTube peeps. I don't know what part we are now in YouTube, but hey, we are continuing. So the last time what happened was uh, we we appeared in the TV show. That was our social studies stream, right? And then we met with a junior detective. He said some words that kind of hit a little bit home when it comes to the uh, Phantom Thieves. So now... We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna <laughs> wait. We're just we're just gonna act like the uh, normal students. Wait for our next target. So yeah, I don't know what to do. Actually. Oh hey, we're meeting here. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. It was some kind of threat. Let's okay see him just... do it then. <laughs> is it just? Is it okay for you to just wear your casual T-shirt over your freaking school pants? All right. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! <laughs> yeah, you, you, you go in. You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. You're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Oh, well, she can maintain her, her figure, so... Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. <laughs> you guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But... What about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Hmm? Hmm? The hell? That was a picture from out of nowhere, Makoto. You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Hmm? Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Hmm? Could it be that you're hiding something? Hmm? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? Mm. You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Uh, oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? Oh, don't drag my you friend here. You were much here. closer to her than I was. So how did you help? Oh, shit! There wasn't any way to help. By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Mm -hmm. Just down make sure task, you huh? show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier about whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. There's the conviction you want. All right. Only I could. Only I could. <laughs> I could what? <laughs> Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. Of course. Why does Yusuke always carry on some keys on its freaking pants? A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, it's just when we're starting but... to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Yeah. Well... Do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, 
What's up with that luggage? That he's oh, carrying luggage. I decided Ooh. to leave the school dorms. Okay. We're not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. So where are you staying then? You don't have money. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, aunt's <laughs> house. <laughs> You're serious about that? I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. Oh sh- what? What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. <laughs> but I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously though, what are we gonna do about him? Maybe he can stay with us. What about uh <laughs> just sleep here? <laughs> what about you just play? You know? It's way too small. Plus, my folks had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Hmm? How? Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. What? But we haven't even talked Why to our pops Why are you yet. the one calling the shots? Exactly. Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe is only a minute walk from the station. But will our boss agree with that? How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Hey, where's my decision in all of this? Hey, hey. Sorry to cause you trouble. Yeah, but By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Wow, picky. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Maybe we should have convinced him first before we actually did and ah. Oh god, all right, fine. I don't know how to call our MC now. Should we start calling him Ren Amamiya instead of what a nice smell. Or is it the smell of coffee? Oh god, I'm craving for coffee now. Oh god. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. People refer to that as retro. Mm hmm. Mm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? Mm hmm. This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. <laughs> no, really, he's been great. Oh, thank you, Ed. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. Wow. You're helping, though. Good job with that sweet talk, Ed. Wow, it's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. I want some coffee right now, jeez. Oh yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. Ah! <laughs> Not a coffee person, Ryuji. Ah! It's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. <laughs> Throwing your the friends, shade. Yeah? Go on and take him up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. Oh shit, they're going to see our messy room. It's only an attic. Oh man, ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... Takamaki. Anchan, huh? That's Anchan. Nice <laughs> you got a boyfriend? Oh, are you pulling in the moves, Sojiro? Oh shit! Nope, never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Go on. What's with that look, oh, Sojiro? Right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh, they had to leave the Mona bag down here.
<laughs> Sweet girl. Is he interested? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, who knows? It might be a. What do you think of this room? I don't might know where be to a begin. real player, you know. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Well, it's hopefully it's better than your dorm. You scared? Oh. See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Exactly. What? <laughs> well, sit wherever you'd like. We are all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Mm. Yeah, how about Mishima site? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Actually, yeah. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. Someone's hungry. What the? <laughs> Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh, shit. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? <laughs> Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... You, you want to eat the sweets, huh? How about that welcome party? <laughs> there you go. Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? Oh. That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Oh. <laughs> the youth. <laughs> Just like in every Anything anime episode. Meat's fine by me. I mean, anyway. Any, in every anime series, there's always that hot pot episode. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. But wait, hot pot on summer? Really? So, what do you say? Okay, yeah. yeah, exactly! Hot pot in this weather? What the? That doesn't matter. It does. Okay, I, I don't on, crave for ramen when it's freaking hot. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... Oh, you can cook these things. We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Alright. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. But do we have the money to buy ingredients? So. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Alright, so uh, what do we do again? Mm. Okay, where's the pot pot? Sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the hot pot. Alright, cool, cool. Hey, yo, Chief! You need a pot. Are you all having a hot pot for dinner? I'm looking forward to it. It should be. Food always tastes better with friends. Her name was Anne, right? She's a nice girl. Who, why do you say that exactly? <laughs> oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him out in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be nice to, you know, too pitiful for you to ask since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Wow, thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a pretty nice girl. All right, it's a counter for kitchen but I want to go to the pot here. Get it. Get the pot. Mikmanji, hello! Caught an old earthenware vessel, should be not big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though, just be careful with the fire, okay? This is so nice. 
And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, mm. but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? Mm. She lacks salt. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Mm. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Hello, Reiner. What's up? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. You know, if you ask me, guys, I'm going for the lesser evil. I mean, like, Akechi's right. You can't, you shouldn't be forcefully, uh, what do you call, manipulating people's hearts into changing. But if that yields into, like, really good results in the end, then I'd go for that. I mean, in the name of justice, right? Like, if, if fuck the laws. <laughs> I mean, if you know that you're doing something good, go for it. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. Oh, my leg. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Just like any other perfect little girl. Ugh. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Oh. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes? Mm hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Mm -hmm. Justice. If Just those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Exactly. What do you want to do, Makoto John? Oh, wow, they finished it. Another bite. <laughs> Delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. Mm. <sighs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. Hey, uh, Yuji, stop fucking. Are you peeping? What What's the hell wrong, are you... Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? <laughs> Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> well, she says sleep already. She's asleep already. It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? I'm curious. Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You oh. know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. Oh yeah, I want to know. Know the backstory of you. He hasn't even told us yet. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. <laughs> so I didn't change it back, really. 
I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. Oh, shit. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... You fell on your own, you... This is bullshit! Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. That was the rest of the events, huh? Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got Such an assault hit. on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. Why don't we just target that guy then? That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? Exactly, Mona. That's fine. I don't remember. I don't know, dude. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! Can't they overrule the sentence? The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. <laughs> what are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. 
It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Aww. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. <laughs> similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. Yeah. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? And we haven't been there in a while. <laughs> I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. All right, leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. And that's all thanks to Ed. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Well, yeah, I've been wondering how the hell we've been, you know, <laughs> taking baths here in our in this, in this cafe. Do we go to the bathhouse every freaking night? Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. <laughs> well, good night, Morgana. Yeah, you can't just invite someone. <laughs> I need to turn back into a human soon. <laughs> I can't let her get taken by someone else. Oh, uh, yo, Anne Molina, what's up? An atomic dinosaur. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. You can't invite her to this, <laughs> these kind of bath houses, Ryuji. It's a bit hot, though. Of course. Who goes to a bathhouse or an onsen during summer? Jeez. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? Uh, as a oh, boy talk! Here we go! Um, well... Not sure. <laughs> she seems she'd be the possessive type. You know, the kind that does spot checks on your texts and all. I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Hmm. Still... It's freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? <laughs> I can't stand it anymore! <laughs> Jesus Christ. You put someone as hot headed as Ryuji into a hot tub. This is what happens. Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll uh I'll contact everyone.
Have you guys been in bathhouses before? I, uh, I've tried it. It was too awkward. I mean, for the Japanese, it's part of their... Probably their, their culture already. You know, being butt naked in front of other people. But when I tried it <laughs> in Wensha Spa, I was like, oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> where, where do I sit down? <laughs> where do I hang out here? <laughs> right. Yo, Kira Desk, what's up? Uh, you missed uh, kinda a lot, maybe? I don't know. Lots of bonding moments. But I'm still awake. <laughs> How about you, Yusuke? What's up? Hey. If you sit there, then where will I recline? Sorry, I just wanted to talk to you, actually. Did something happen? Go to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio location, so this is luxurious in compassion and comparison. Wow, alright, you're not gonna pay for anything, right? Okay. Hey! Oh, I gotta sleep. Alright, let me just Let's say. Alright, here we go, boys. We're back. Okay, let's sleep! Nothing else to do. I'm not sleepy, bitch. Well. Breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Wow, wow, ha. grilled fish and miso soup. That's actually kind of luxurious in some ways. I love some grilled fish and miso soup. I'll sleep. Hmm? We're going back to the velvet room. Velvet room that actually looks indigo. <laughs> Debola and Popolagi. <laughs> the prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Shut up, Kelly. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. Mm. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Excellent. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. Oh. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Yes. Oh, hello, Kendi. What's up? Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I feel like I'm caught with eager experience. Deeper. Yeah, boy. This is your persona stock to tense. Hell yeah! You got more personas right. now. Oh, yeah. Can I earn more experience? Yes, yes. Good shit, good shit. It's almost time. Time for what, though? Actually, miso soup is really good. I love it. I love miso soup. Can't go to a Japanese restaurant without eating or drinking miso soup. It's so good. Especially on a hot. Oh, no, sorry, in a cold day. Hmm. You are Sai Sun's younger sister, correct? What are you doing in our fucking school? May I talk to you for a moment? Is wait. it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi Kun? Oh wait, this isn't our This isn't our school. What is this? Some kind of prep school? Hmm. You are quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Because he wants to catch them, that's why. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this... Because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. Mm. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? 
compare to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit? I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Wow, he's full of himself. Okay. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Mm -hmm. oh, on the looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Because you're a little bitch, that's why. <laughs> what? Murai bottles. <laughs> this would be good, take <laughs> it's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Oh, really? Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Aww. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. Nice conviction there. There's no need to game. exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh... How would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you, too. Besides just stealing your talents. <laughs> Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Wow, the original Sayuri. Whoa. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. So, um, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the first thing you have to say to me. You guys sure do eat a lot. That reminds me, I haven't seen you scare around. Maybe you already went downstairs. You up? You know, you, you know what, what intrigues me? He has pockets on his fucking long sleeves shirt. That's where he keeps his hands on his freaking tummy. I don't know. <laughs> Oh wow, I can finally see the Sayuri in there, that's nice. Finally up, you know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. Hmm. He left this painting before he took off, to, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Wow. Sayuri. Don't sell it! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, I'd never let go of a beauty like this. This painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hmm. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take a kite out somewhere. <laughs> see that? His fucking <laughs> hands are on his freaking tummy. Thank you again for letting me stay at the, uh, stay the night. 
Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I have entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sujiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. And a hot pot session with something hot as well. I don't get it. I would go for ice cream or something. Oh, German Shepherd was that? Hey, hey. So you came with help. Oh, well, guess that's that. Yo, I just checked the pe fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. Do you think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately to... Um, you know... Is that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, this thing's really starting to get serious. So, uh, let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we be going about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way, the police totally nab us if we were out that late. Life will be bad if the chief knew we were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants. Aha, uh -huh. what if we drew them to the blank? W what? <sighs> There's no way, who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? The blank targeted seems like a viable plan to me. Uh, let's do it, why not? Cut it out! You'd get kicked out, LeBlanc would fail. Well, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well, I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as in the future. I wish there was some way they could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm going to try looking for stuff too. Hey. Right. hey, shouldn't you tell the others about the machine that what Mishima told you? What did Mishima tell me? Uh, uh hello. How are your studies going? Everything is good here? Uh, sorry, everything's good here. I had some medicine again. I think it will help you make real progress in your studies and whatnot. Well, what do you say? Do you want to test it out? So we can become closer with the camera. Yes, let's go! Alright then. Head over immediately. Oh, got a good answer. This will really help me out. Okay, stop by the clinic. I'll have everything ready for you. Hell yeah. Well then. In that case, going to the exam. Huh. So this is the Nakami Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Oh. Looks like I have a patient with an emergency. Girl. Wait, hey, 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 that girl looks so familiar. Isn't that, isn't that? Every day is great at June is. I, I forgot her name. It was from Persona 4. She looks oddly similar. Hmm. I forgot her name. Oh, God. I've never played. I, I forgot Persona 4. Shit. All right. So, why can't you come here? Sorry, why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? Well, I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. Bronchitis is something like uh, asthma, but it's more of like the airways, instead of like tightening, the airways are um, tightens up or the, the 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 passage or the tube of our airways, you know, gets constricted because of, of some kind of uh, inflammation. Or, you, you get me? <laughs> so you can say that um, asthma is some kind of bronchitis. Okay, all right. Yeah, Nanako! You hear this? Nanako! Nanako-chan! <laughs> exactly. She has she has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. 
we've been going to a big hospital, a university hospital in East Shinjuku, but all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. <sighs> a university hospital in East Shinjuku? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. Ah, famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. Wait, I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please at least just examine her. Uh, hey. hey. Hold on. <laughs> Big bro. <laughs> the doctor, my chest really hurts. <laughs> the doctor Takemi will help. <laughs> what? Oh, she likes that. And doctor. Oh, <sighs> fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. Uh. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Y yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello. Hello, Uhara-san. It's Doctor Schweitzer. There. There's something I'd like to ask him about the case that was in last month's medical journal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of that second drawer into the exam room. Hmm? You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also, bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge, a towel with wash basin, and measuring spoon. <sighs> well, what are you waiting for? Get moving! Thank you so much, I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Mm. It is a very unique strain of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay, that will be 1 million yen for today. A, a million yen? That's outrageous! You've completely taken advantage of your completely. She, she, <laughs> she gives out her. Her doctors feel like fucking blackjack. Hmm. I mean, alright, I agreed to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. That's fucking 1 million yen in their bank account, Jesus. <gasps> oh, wait, you're actually going to pay? <laughs> By the way, that famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it medical chief of staff Oyamada? Uh, yes, uh, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. What? F free? <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> Not really, but there is a certain amount of satisfaction in healing his patient with that permission. Really? By the way, thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. <laughs> So is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, guinea pig. I don't think you should be saying that to uh, fellow patients, Takemi. <laughs> He's about to put in a lot of effort, of hard work today, aren't you? Uh, this feels like the bond of Takemi is growing even deeper. <laughs> Rank up. There you go. Alright. Now... Um, doctor, doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Uh, yes, thank you, doctor. Yay! <sighs> Don't mention it. She seems really happy. Oh, God, my arm. Oh, it's switching. Ugh. Ooh. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. <laughs> I feel like co cooperating in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. Just one. You do need some. Guts. All right. Bye. Good work today. Yay! Something tells me that doctor from that famous hospital is some 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 kind of colleague of Doctor Takemi that messed with her, and now she's uh, trying to back. give back some take you know, give some revenge or something. I don't know. So, uh, what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. 
You're talking about the catchy can, right? I know how you feel. Ah, uh, a high school student. Believe it. You'd have to shut up if you change another person's heart. Uh, perhaps. Oh god, my arm! It's oh, it's having some we weird cramps. Oh damn, it hurts. Oh god. Definitely. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave the catch you can be. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Alright, catch. We have a speech today, huh? I'll be giving a speech today at the station's first usual. Fuck you, she did I don't think I'm gonna... I'll decide later. And she went to see Shio. Alright, fuck this. Hey, what do we do? Hmm? I'm finally interested in coffee brewing. If you'll help, I can teach you. Yeah. What are you going to do? Will he help the sheep out? Uh, help? Help him out? Yeah. Thank you, clean up. I'm going to finish preparing the curry. We can make curry now, holy oh, shit, yes. Alright then. That's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? Are you getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Hmm. Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavors for a cup of coffee. Grind, heat, and time. Ooh, this is interesting. I actually want to know how to blend my own coffee. First up is the grind. For the siphons we have siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grind are you supposed to use? Medium fine, right? This medium fine. Right, keep up the good work. That doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money's money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee though, just remember that. Who could this be? Huh. Yes, hello? <clears throat> How'd you get this number? Now! Where? Oh, fine. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, something just came up. We can keep going with the lesson some other time. Um. Um. Don't want my help anymore? Is it trouble? <laughs> Is it a date? <laughs> let me check. Let me ask. Maybe if I answer this, he'll be. Yeah, there you go. He's glad because he he think I'm concerned with him. Okay. What? You worried about me? It's nothing you need to concern yourself over. See, guys, I don't. I can't. I just don't. I'm not the. <laughs> girls aren't the only ones I can impress in this game. Even sugar daddies like Sojiro. <laughs> Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and uh, remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. And it's nice having someone around to help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. Feels like a bond is trying. That's it? Holy shit, okay. Oh, good morning, Darren. What's up? Hell yeah! Can we make caddy now? No. Alright. <laughs> The rest is on Okay, you. I'm off. Don't eat all your fo our food while I'm gone. Oh, I see you again, Biscuit Gaming. I'll see you soon in the next meet and greet. Ah, oh, yeah. I remember Biscuit was the uh, one with the... Uh, Curly hair, I think. Biscuit, am I right? <laughs> We're still there. Oh, it's a catchy. Fancy seeing you here. I didn't think we used the same station. Me meeting here must be fate. How are you doing? Uh, I'm sleepy. Oh? Did you stay up too late? Are you alright? <laughs> I do like that response. It's honest and it keeps the conversation from dragging. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such questions. I suppose that it's best to simply be yourself and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. If it isn't too much trouble, may I, s I speak with you again sometime? Hell yeah, why do we always, like, encounter people in this station? Jeez. Oh, 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, she sounds so giddy now, Miss Kawakami. You know what? Uh, at first, I was so annoyed by Miss Kawakami, but now that I found that she's actually uh, <laughs> a moon, <laughs> she she moonlights being a freaking maid, then she she looks cute right now. I I think I look. Seems cuter. Seems cuter. Not looks cuter, but seems cuter for me now. I like that. It, it, it's what you call Gap Moe. If you guys don't know what Gap Moe is, it's uh, more of like, uh, if there's a ca certain character in anime that commits to their character, let's say for example a tsundere character or maybe a, uh, a very serious character. Now that serious character, when, she, when, when he's not with other people or when he or she is not with their friends, he actually enjoys like really cute stuff and is very lively doing other things. So that's what they call gap moe, you know? So, yeah. Like, like for example, like a Yakuza member collecting cute stuff. That's gap moe. Something like that. Glock of Trivius. Alright. Oh, good. You haven't gone home yet. Yes, teacher. Listen. Nijima san's looking for you. Could we head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filing out some paperwork. So, what? Who's Nijima? I don't know. <sighs> ah, Mako yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. The student council room is in the server. But why does she want me? Why does she want me to file papers? I'm not student council president. The fuck? Alright. Got it, fine. <sighs> I'm running errands for a student. I know she's in the principal's favorite or whatever. Hey! Nijima, the girl who keeps following you around, right? What does she want? Exactly, what the fuck does Makoto Nijima chan? What? Let's go, let's go. Uh, third floor, right? Okay, it's next to the library. So... It should be... Right around... Here! Hey! It's a student council room. What are we called here for? This is rather strange. Of course. What do you take? Have a seat. 